Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. Today we're looking at the 2024 Kia Telluride X-Line Pro, the new off-roady trim grade. So we're gonna have a good look at it inside now. We're gonna take it for a drive and then I'm gonna tell you what I really think. The 2024 Kia Telluride X-Line Pro is a trim grade theme that is dialed toward off-roading, adventure, overlanding, camping, and a lot of the competitors out there right now in this class are doing it. Volkswagen, Nissan, on and on. They're offering these off-roady themed trim grades to their vehicles that give it, in some cases, a little bit more capability and in some cases, a lot more capability. So what do you get here with the Kia Telluride X-Line Pro? Well, first of all, let's talk about this vehicle. This is a top of the line prestige model, all wheel drive, of course. We're at $55,000 and some change, which is about the most you can spend here, give or take. Really the first thing you can see when you look at this vehicle that really sets it apart are the tires and wheels. 18 inch wheels, not 20s, 21s, not big giant wheels, and they have the taller sidewall. Here we have a tire that's more geared towards going off the pavement, which is the Continental Terrain Contact. And we'll talk a little bit more about how this translates to a driving experience here in a moment. Looking around the vehicle, black trim. A unique front fascia look as far as the trim treatment, but not a unique fascia. That actually gives us maybe a better approach angle or any kind of a skid plate element going on there. The standard cladding down the bottom that you might find on other Kia Tellurides is included here. Of note though, up on the roof is a raised black roof rail. Now that's important because if you are going camping and overlanding, skiing, anything like that, this is a nice addition because it enables you to put a lot of accessories up there a lot easier than you can with some of the standard roof rails out there. At the back, pretty much the same look there too. Black trim as we go around to that three quarter view down a lower fascia, pretty much the same thing you're going to find. If we look up underneath, stock standard spare tire, nothing special there. I'm glad it's there, but I will tell you that on a vehicle that's geared towards going out in the bush, it's nice to have a full size spare tire because out here there's no cell service as I stand here right now, just 30 miles outside of Phoenix, Arizona. Shocking, right? Well, if I got a flat tire out here and really cut a tire open and needed a real spare tire, it'd be nice to have one. So that's just worth noting. The interior here, same beautiful interior that we see on other Kia Tellurides, fully loaded here in the Prestige. Unique here are the X-Line embossed seats, which are just absolutely gorgeous. Back seat has captain's chairs which are pretty comfortable for this class they do pop forward pretty easily to allow access to a nice third row back there but as i look around this interior nice though it is we don't have very many accoutrements that lend itself towards the off-road theme rubber floor mats for instance none of the let's get our muddy boots in their rugged feeling and trim that we see in some of the other brands that offer the off-roady trim grade theme one thing this does offer that is an increased capability is increased towing. It has 5,500 pounds for towing, which is 500 pounds more than the non X-Line and X-Line Pro versions. And it also has more robust drive modes around towing and traction, which, well, I guess it's time to start getting to that. So I'm kind of a driver. Well, I'm not kind of a driver. I am a driver. I'm a driving enthusiast. And so whenever I hear about off-roady improvements and trim grades that improve capability all of the visual things we just talked about are great but i want to know is it going to drive better when i get out here on the desert washboard road the trail when i'm going camping up in the mountains when i'm doing all of these things off the pavement is it actually better for the money spent so the very first thing i'm noticing right off is the fact that it has a much better ride quality than any other Telluride I've ever had. And that translates also to the pavement. And that's because these tires and wheels, 18 inch wheels and these tires, a much higher sidewall, that means more rubber between you and the pavement, not the low profile tires and the big 20 inch wheels or 21s or whatever. It just has a much better ride because of that. It's much better suited for going off the pavement. It's much better suited 
for snow and ice, especially with the tread on these tires. Although I will say that these are pretty mild tires. These aren't Mongo all-terrain tires. These are sort of a consumer grade version, but they do offer much better traction in slippery surfaces. So the ride's better. That's the first thing. The second thing is with the extra ground clearance, of course, 10 millimeters, though it's not very much, does give you a little bit more confidence going out here in the rough. What really hasn't changed here is the fact that the suspension hasn't really been retuned in any large measure. Yes, it has the ride height increase, but it still rattles and shudders and shakes over all of these rough surfaces. The Desert Washboard Road is my favorite place to test a vehicle and see how well put together it is. And things haven't changed here at all. I'm still getting a lot of rattling in the front suspension, a lot of noise from the suspension. And that's essentially because this is a car. This is not a truck. This is a crossover SUV, which means it's based on a car chassis. And doing this off-road themed trim grade, they haven't really upgraded the suspension, retuned it, the bushings, nothing. And so because of that, it still drives like a car with a lip kit, albeit better tires and a better ride because of them. They really haven't done much to increase the capability off-road. Now, yes, drive modes have gotten a little bit more robust. If you look down here at the center console, one of the great things about this vehicle has always been that you can force all-wheel drive with the lock feature. A lot of vehicles don't let you do that. That's a good thing, especially in snow and ice. But they didn't add any extra modes like rock, sand, things like that, like some of the competitors have in their off-road trim versions. Here, yes, we still have snow, which is good, but we haven't gone very far. The towing has been increased with better cooling, and so you can go 5,500 pounds now instead of 5,000, but these are all small incremental things, not some of the larger ovations that some of the other brands have made with their off-road themed trim grades. So yes, it has a much better ride out here, so it doesn't beat to death quite as bad, but does it have more capability for the extra money spent? Not really. In fact, what I would tell you is you buy the base model that already has 18 inch wheels on it, get better tires, and you're in the same place. All right, my friends, so we've had a good look at it, taken a short drive out here in the dirt and talked about some of the features that make this trim grade what it is. The big question I think that I want to try to answer for you, because it's the question I got an answer to, is, is the X-Line Pro a more off-roady, substantive version of the Telluride than all of the rest? And I think the simple answer is no. There are a number of features here that give it a little bit more robustness. The wheel and tire combination is the number one thing. Those tires do give this better traction out here in the dirt. They give it a better ride on rougher roads because they have a taller sidewall. But when they put this trim grade together to give this a more off-roady capability, that's about as far as it went. Yes, it has a 10 millimeter ride height increase. Big deal, a third of an inch. A lot of vehicles in this category that have gone with off-road trim grades have added things like up to an inch of increased ground clearance. They've added skid plate elements underneath, maybe different bumpers that allow for better approach and departure angles, more cladding to protect from the bush, on and on. Interior treatments like rubber floor mats and things like that. They just didn't go very far. They've given us black trim, a blacked out look, which is very cool, although it is piano black which shows dirt and dust more than anything else. They have given us the roof racks, which are a nice thing. But again, I come back to the tires and wheels are really the only thing here that are an upgrade that you can feel when you're driving it out here in the dirt. Beyond that, if you're really looking for camping, you're really looking for overlanding, something you can go a little bit more off-road with than the standard Telluride, the X-Line Pro trim grade really doesn't add it. It gives you yet another theme, which isn't a bad thing. If you like the Telluride, uh, this is kind of a cool way to go if you live on a dirt road, let's say. But if you want to go off-roading or camping in the bush, spending up for this isn't going to get you very much further down the road. So that's my take on this. I know some people aren't going to agree. This is a very award 
laden vehicle. A lot of media outlets out there are giving this a lot of awards, a lot of accolades, and there's a lot of great things about it. You can see our full-blown test drive reviews on the Kia Telluride right there, our latest one just last spring. Full five-star review with all the bells and whistles and we talked about every square inch of it. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel right down there. Either way, stay tuned.